Welcome back, everybody. Good to see you all here again. We are standing, well, swimming, or actually boating, maybe I can get it right in the third time, in front of Bluebird's Cove, which is looking fairly decent. Oh, Bluebird's Bay, my bad. I keep, uh, I gotta just remember, all bees, Bluebird's Bay. Didn't even think about that just then. There you go, can remember it. But, uh, of course, where we are today is very different to where we were in the last episode, which was in the end, and man, that was fun. Not gonna lie, that was pretty fun. We're gonna be returning there today, but we're gonna be getting onto something that is asked for, that is needed. It's one of these things where sometimes when you build, you get something that comes out of nowhere and it just kind of forces itself on you without you having to be cre too creative to create the idea of needing to fix it. And that is uh, being, I guess it's a, a combination of being lazy and also uh, just wanting to build very fast. And that's my storage room. I have been called out for it, and by the way, I just went out there because I thought it would be cool to have a look at this area from, from afar. Tell me what you guys are thinking of that. I think it's looking fantastic. Uh, but yes, my storage area is by far one of the uh, worst parts of any builds that I've done so far. And before I do that, I just want to test something because I think this works this way. Okay, wait, no, 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 wait, I know, what, I, know what, I know what I'm thinking. Don't worry. I was just thinking, it just it bugged me. I just walked past it. I'm like, wait, I need to know right now. Uh, but here we go. This is not my storage area. This looks a lot better than my storage area, believe it or not. This is my storage area, and it looks disgusting. But what I've done, actually, I've removed some chests, so I've emptied all these chests. And what we are going to do today is we are going to get into something that has been requested so many times, and I'm like, yes, I'm going to do that. Oh, for sure, I'll do that. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. And now we're going to do it, because this is something that we actually have to do. <laughs> so these two warehouses, I came up with the idea of having two warehouses because they kind of had a relevance. We wanted to store something, they looked cool, and, of course, things get stored in warehouses, so it, it just worked out so well. Let's just get rid of this as well. Uh, so what we're gonna do now, and we're gonna we're gonna go around, let's try to figure out every block which we do not need, like for instance there, look at that. Beautiful, get rid of these useless blocks. I feel like that's useful. Yes it is, okay, I can tell, I can tell why, that makes sense. That water's actually useful there, believe it or not. You might not believe me, but uh, it's true. That's some very useful water. And uh, what we're gonna do now is, uh, I just thought I'd bring you guys in on the process, we're gonna get this stuff done. We're gonna go to the nether. We're gonna, well, we're gonna get some more stuff done. And yeah, that, that's the plan for today. Who knows? We'll, we're just gonna enjoy the episode. Just play it how we go. Whatever we do, we're gonna do. It's gonna be amazing. Whatever is coming out of this. So here is my thought. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna try and fill in these gaps on the walls so that they, they look reasonably good and we know how much we can go, uh, well, how far we can go with getting the shapes and the, the interesting parts of this building. So we're gonna fill up these walls. You can see little pieces like this. We're gonna frame that. We're gonna fill in this gap. We're gonna fill in those gaps. And then we're gonna do the floor. And then we are gonna go and do all these interesting bits. For instance, have places up the top where you can walk, have lights, have all different things you would expect in a storage room and still have the function of our chests. So there, there, I actually have done a little bit of organizing can tell. There's, there's a low level of organization in this, better than what we had before. And what, what our idea is, is basically to have our chests lying all over the place. If we are successful today with our end rating, we will have some good old shulker boxes, which will be amazing. So we've got a lot of stuff to do. First of all, what I need to do is I need to go and figure out what blocks we're gonna do just to fill up these gaps. But these gaps are, this is, this is kind of like a, an important thing, but not a very exciting thing to be completely honest, those gaps. So I think I'll just go ahead and fill them all in. In fact, let me just, before, I, before this might just get very exciting for a second, Let's just see how this works. I, I've been loving this block so much. <laughs> Almost to my detriment with how much kelp block, uh, well, how long kelp block takes to make. But let's just, let's just give it a little try. I just, I, I need to know. I need to know. Challenge accepted. That doesn't look too, too much like what I thought it would, but we'll try and work that in. Let's just have a look and see what we can do with it. I thought, you know what, you saw that. Let's do it. Let's go for it. Let's see what we can, we can do. I need to just work out where everything is. Where is, there it is. Okay, so by the way, this is my organization, my new organization idea. That actually shouldn't be in there. Uh, my organization idea is we have blocky wood blocks in here. So blocky type things and stairs. Oh, actually that is in the wrong spot. Then slabs obviously. And then we go into non blocky things. So these ones here of wood types. And then we go into, for instance, ocean, 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 different types of ocean and like stuff like that. But I thought that was an interesting way of doing it. I, I don't know what, like I'm sure you guys have got some fantastic ideas out there on what are cool ways of, of doing your storage rooms. But I thought that was a pretty neat way. In fact, you know what? Here's a, here's another thing. We can put this stuff in here. We don't need to. I've, I've gotten rid of those actually while we were building just because I was running low. But you know, what? we can maybe get a little bit, uh, a little bit interesting with these. We can put these in here fill that in and then we can start going around with with these things with just one for instance and 
and play around with that idea. Yeah. Yeah, that'll work actually. That, that, oh, oops. <laughs> uh, that over there will work for sure. So, tell you what, I'm gonna get these walls in because this is, as I say, just trial and error. It's not gonna be amazing just yet. What's gonna be amazing is when we start adding in the, the levels and start making this place filled up and feel homely because right now it's, uh, it's got weeds growing around. We have been very, very busy and we are also, by the way, getting rid of this door, which is crazy. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. we've had this door for so long. It's been terrible. I don't know if you guys noticed it. If you didn't, uh, I guess go back in the clip and look at this hideous thing that we had here before. But now it's going to be beautiful once again. Uh, we'll have to just go out the other way. Just give me a second. I'll show you what we're talking about. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. All done. Beautiful. So that's what we're looking at. I did a little bit of decorating, as you can tell. Filling up a bit of these pieces. We didn't use a kelp, but I left it in there just for, for memories. We've gone ahead and created a bit more depth on these walls. Looking rather cool. All right, so don't worry. What you see now is the basic parts of a fuchsia good build. I've got no idea where it's going, so I'm kind of backing myself there. Let's just hope I get that right. Uh, but what we've got here is we've compartmentalized each one of these warehouses into this one and that one. They've got an odd shape, which is perfectly fine. And in fact, that is something which I know you avoid, but you gotta love it when it, when it happens. Have these really odd little things like that. Different pieces around the build really help out a lot. So what I want to do first of all, uh, you can see we've got the sturdy ugly ground. I wouldn't mind maybe adding in some coarse dirt in there, a little bit of brown uh, brown uh, terracotta. Not terracotta. Dang it, Jancy, what is it? Concrete powder and concrete, I guess. Could work well. Uh, but I want to make it, make it look like these are, are well used, you know. Maybe we could even pull them up to here, the doors, and make it look like they've been trodden on and broken down. And I guess path block is the immediate solution. But the reason I didn't want to do that is right underneath here, we've got a whole bunch of lights. And can I get that? Uh, you can tell there's like, you, it's bright. You can't see the torches. Just trust me. There's torches there and they shine through the path block, which is rather unfortunate. So what I want to do here is I want to go ahead. Let's go to the middle of this. We want to put two different lights down over here. And I've got some idea of what I want to do. I'm not too sure how it's going to work exactly, but it'll, it'll be cool. And what we need to do with these lights is we need to take them down far enough for it to light the floor up, while also lighting up a future second layer where we're gonna have just a place to look out and uh, store secondary chests. And in fact, secondary chests and also secondary shulkers or extra shulkers because we're gonna make ourselves a trip, as I say today, for some shulker boxes. And if we get all right, uh, we should hopefully have some by the end of the day, which is very good because I need some better ways of taking a lot of items across from this base to the other end, uh, of course, the other way around. Um, well, how high is that? Maybe, maybe a little bit lower. One. Uh, yeah, that might be all right. Let's, let's start from here. I, I didn't actually count, but that's all right. That's for future Jancy to worry about. We can work this out first. So we do something like that, something like that. And I thought I'd bring these just to give them a try because I really like them. They look oceany for some reason to be there. That kind of reminds me of, you know, those, uh, you get these old school diving gear things where, where they would have a, a guy with a tube going to him. I don't even know what it's called, but I don't even know what they, what they were doing. But <laughs> like old school diving gear, or I think it's maybe still currently looks like deep sea gear. I don't, I don't actually know. I've, I've, there's, there's a part of me that I really wish to know that stuff, but I've got absolutely no clue about that stuff. So uh, I'm sure someone will correct me, but uh, something like that. That's what I'm looking at. Like the, the mask with the, the, the things in front of it. So let's do that, get rid of this, and check, did this light work? Believe it or not, as much as that isn't a spectacular light, it's going to do the trick. And uh, I can tell you, what we're going to do now is we're going to be putting in some places to walk on. And that's actually very important that this light isn't too uh, breathtaking, let's put it that way, because it is. It's, a, it's, just a, it's just a simple light for a simple build, because of course... That's what we try and do. We try to keep it nice and simple because we're going to place our chests in here everywhere. So first thing, we need some chests. Perfect. Second thing, some of those, some of those. And maybe if we've got, uh, yeah, let's just take those in case. So we're going to go wild with this, see what we do and see how this happens. And by the way, we've got a new entrance. Beautiful. So we get that actually forces me to do a little bit more stuff here because we're going to walk in and out of here all the time. So first thing, just creep a check, creep a check. We good. We've also got some fancy little railings there for no reason, but that that's fine. So first thing is, let's create a good floor height, which from eye over there, uh, looks about right around there. So we'll just use some slabs to begin with, and we can change these over to some spruce 
uh, spruce trap doors. Yeah, that height is correct. And what we'll do here, we'll put in a ladder on this pillar, so that makes space in that pillar. And then, we'll go out here and put in the chests for storage. And I'm not against using single chests like that and that and there. Those will work quite well. But we can also go ahead and just do uh, the big chests over there and big chests over... Ooh, actually, here's, here's the game. Which one's going to go? I think it's going to connect to that one. But I'm going to place it and see. Hopefully it connects to that one. Ooh, lovely. Nice. All right, so we'll just go up with a few chests like this and this. And this will be a good place for us to just store a few things. Like a warehouse would, putting stuff up the top. So it kind of just doubles up for our storage. So maybe we do something like a little bit of... Okay, we'll use slabs. We'll use slabs. Convince me. We'll put a few slabs down here and check what this looks like. Yeah. So now you can see why this is kind of important. Uh... That it's not too over the top, because of course it will look kind of ugly if we did something too crazy. Now, here is also another problem, is the, the space that we have to work with. So let's put in some trapdoors, because they are... The trapdoors are amazing things. They, they're not just useful for being a trapdoor. They're useful for these. In fact, they're more useful than fences as being fences. So something like that, very simple. And let's create, uh, going down the bottom here, just to create a bit more life in this build. We'll do actually get rid of that, and we can maybe put one of these in. There. And we can try and anchor this onto the wall, so it looks as though it's being held up properly. So, get a bit of, oops, not that, a bit of slab in there. And maybe a little bit more down there, there. And one of those, there. All right. So we're gonna try and we're gonna try and make this slab work for us. So it will at least make this work for a place to anchor this down. So maybe if we put in a cobblestone wall there, and we'll use a little thing to make a pillar. And this is just important for a bit of the story of it. You know, it has it has to be held up somewhere. Let's hold it up over here. So there and there. Okay, I got this. We got this. Maybe that over there. Yeah. So you see that, that that already, just a little piece like that, we can add another one in here and another one over there. And it'll look very anchored, which is very, very good. In fact, we could probably try and work in a proper staircase. If, is it nighttime? Please tell me it's not nighttime. It's, uh, it's definitely nighttime. All right. So while we're doing this, I think we go on a little bit of a trip and we return back to this a bit later. It's probably quite important that we get stuff to fill it up real good. In the end we are, and by the way, that trip is a pain in the butt. We're gonna have to do something about that. I've got my future transport around this world plans planned for the future. But for right now, we got a... We, we drew the short straw. <laughs> the short straw. Can I talk, please? We drew the short straw, and we've got stuck on an island, but that's alright. It's kind of cool. It's actually kind of interesting. I wouldn't mind maybe messing around with this sometime, but for now, let's get out of here, because this is not a very healthy place to be. For, uh, for multiple reasons, most importantly, the reason that I am me. Uh, by the way, uh, I don't know if you guys just noticed, but we, we spent a lot of our levels, being like most of 65 of them, because I came to the end, realized I did not have a very good tool, and needed to go back to get that. So uh, that was a little bit of a problem. Actually, you know what, let's just do this. Let's just run back here, get a coordinate, and I don't even have to screenshot it. I can just go F3, check that out if I need to find it back. Guess who's recording their own video right now who can check that out. That's fantastic. <laughs> Look at this Enderman Island. Oh man, this is an island of uh, of death. Like that is that is crazy. That is insane. Uh, you know what? Actually, just coming to think of it, when we eventually, if we do ever make like an Ender Ender, that could be a very neat little spot to put it right there. There's there's a, a thought, or at least uh, go out that way. Then we don't have to go down. We could just go out, kind of thing. We, we'll see how that goes. Uh, but let's do this. And I don't think, in fact, let's just follow the darkness. There, around there. Yeah, we need to get to this main island here. It, I always feel like such a derp going around the end where I'm just... <laughs> just continuously moving my mouse around in void areas. It's kind of a... It's a weird thing. It's very odd. Oh, oof, oof, that was close. Uh, yeah, it's very odd. <laughs> when you, No other game really stops you from looking at stuff that I can think of, at least that I've played uh, in, in very recent... in Even lengthy times. But it's just such a weird thought. So, what I'm gonna do now, because we, we decided to finish off that thing, you know, the thing that we were just busy with, the, the storage room. 
And I'm very excited to show you guys that. So uh, we're going to go here. We're going to do just a little bit of end cityying. Hopefully we can get ourselves some good stuff. It's going to be kind of like a, we'll, we'll do one. If it's a good end city, we'll do one. If it's terrible end city, we'll do a second one. Uh, but I, I think it'll be good if we could just do like not too much end rating. You know, you know, the, the whole idea of this series is I've done, I've done a few series. I've done my first one where I learned to build my second one where I try to put those skills into practice. And now here's our third one, which uh, is, is chilling out having a good time, enjoying survival Minecraft and building in survival. And I'm, I'm loving it. And I really am enjoying the, the slightly slower. That's all of, I brought two stacks. Oh man, I brought two stacks of, of this. And now we're out of it. At least we're surrounded by blocks everywhere. There we go, we're good, we're good. I don't, don't ask me why I kept my boat. I guess I could have put that away, but that's fine. We've also got two ender chests to help us out. So let's just keep searching. I'm going to walk around, find an end city. Then we're going to go in there, get some good loot, get out, and uh, show you what my storage system is looking like. And there it is. Oh, man. Well, I guess it was going to happen at some stage. If it was going to happen, we may have lost everything. And I think that's fair enough. I think I've been going for about an hour now. Uh, this this clip is 27 minutes long. The previous one a little bit longer and we have finally got our first death on this world. I actually don't know what happened there. I'm pretty sure I was holding down shift the whole time, but hey, there we go. Success, I think. <laughs> All right. So, well, there you go. There is an end rate for you if I have seen one. You know what I'm going to do? Uh, I don't know how is a good way to string that all together is. Uh, so what we'll do, and uh, by the way, what have we lost? We've lost... Oh no, I can hear mobs. Okay. Uh, yeah, we gotta keep our villagers safe. All right, uh, you get away from this place, villager. Oh, there we go, zombies gonna be gone. Uh, but yeah, what I think we'll do is I'll go ahead and uh, make maybe a clip at the end of this uh, to go check out. So for today, no more end rating for us, but luckily I have got some spare stuff. Not as good as our previous stuff. Do we have any? Oh, we do not have any good the falling stuff. All right, so we'll take uh, maybe that. No, no, no. We'll, we'll do the extra cool one. Depth Striders will make us a little bit faster. All right. Completely geared up. Almost. We just need one of these. Uh, we'll take that one. All right. And that's quite a pity that we ended up doing that, I must admit. But what we'll do is we'll work towards getting to another place. I can't believe how unlucky we were with finding a, a good old... Actually, that one's better. That one's cooler. A uh, good old end, end city. It was amazing. I, I could have I could have sworn that <laughs> they should have been one in that time. But I mean, hey, that's that's how the luck goes. Sometimes you get super lucky, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you fall into the void with no unexpected uh, reason, and that happens as well. But that's all right. You know what? It's all part of the game, and it's fun. And we've uh, we've got other things to do. I've got an entire storage room to show you guys. And besides, we've now got something to do in the future, and it's great because now we've finally got our first death out the way. And we can enjoy it. So what was, what, what, what do we have now? Let's look at this. Damage dealt. Where is, where is the very first? There we go. Number of deaths. Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> it's horrible. Uh, and uh, time since last death. Where is that? There is one somewhere here. That should be around there. But man, that is, that is painful. There's one thing about dying because of I, me jumping off a, a silly location. There's another thing. Uh, when it's just because I fell into the void. But hey, let's go onwards. I've got a cool storage room to show you guys. And by the way, I've also got some cool silhouettes. So look at this behind us. Uh, not that, that's beautiful as well. But look at that. Just as we go past, you see the, the village slowly disappear. And then we start going to the pirate village. Just give it a second. Look at that. How cool is that? And then you can see our gazebo and everything is practically gone now. And then we're pretty much at the pirate place, which is very, very cool. Uh, but yeah, what I've been doing today besides that, and as I say, I'll just put the rest of that at the end of the video. We can, if you guys want to watch it, you can, you can see how long and how far I traveled. It was thousands upon thousands upon thousands of blocks, probably about an hour. I'll just put some more, more tunes to it at the end for, for the, someone to catch up. Uh, <laughs> for, for the, for the heck of it, you know what I mean? Uh, but what we'll do, let's go, let's go show you the storage room, because I'm, I'm actually pretty proud of it. That, look at that. You see me, do you see me just get teleported back? That happened to me, uh, pr something pretty fierce, actually, while we were in the end. There's a clip, if you guys do watch, uh, where I end up cutting it and coming back, because I had to restart my game, and I teleported hundreds of blocks back, because of, obviously, the fact that 
the game just wasn't wasn't registering where I was. Something was going crazy. But yeah, look at that. Another cool little silhouette coming in. It's the shape of these buildings, man. They they are working so darn good. So let's go in here and check this out. Oh wait, we gotta get rid of those. Over here. So the moment of truth. We're gonna be walking around this area pretty often. We're gonna come down here, go into this door, and then look at that. Beautiful. We'll actually do that. Look at that. There we go. So we've done some changes. I just thought we would do it a nice cinematic y looking open. <laughs> uh, we've got our, our furnace array here. We've got, for instance, actually, we still we still aren't completely creeper friendly in this place. Uh, but we've got some shelves to hold up our storage containers. This is going to be, for instance, we could go get our general stone, our general wood, stuff like that. General chests down the bottom. A few other less likely general chests. So, for instance, say we had. Uh, a dyes chest. We can maybe have that up here. We could have some very good compartmentalized stuff. And then around on this side, we've got ourselves our bed. We can maybe put some other utilities up here and enter chest somewhere. And still keep it feeling like it's a, a good old storage room without actually losing that. I would like to get some color in here. It's actually very brown. Uh, I guess we'll have to do that sometime. But then, of course, we've got all this here. And we've got all this here. But what I've done is I've dropped the lights down. I've got this extra little piece up the top. So that's where our bed will be. And our anvil in the middle, which works pretty well for the build in general. So, hey, successful build. Not a successful day, kind of, in a weird way. But, uh, hey, you know what, that's that's just the way it goes. That's just, just the nature of it. And uh, this week, I'm feeling we're going to have a pretty jam-packed week here. So, don't worry. We will be back in the end. We will be better geared than we have ever been before. And we will find an end city, even if it means a death number two. Uh, but for today, as I say, I'll, I'll go ahead, pop that at the back, at the end. Uh, I was planning on going to the end, then coming here, but hey, you know what, this is, this is the nature of it. Uh, but by the way, what, while, if you guys want to check it out, go for it, feel free. Uh, but if you guys, uh, have, are not checking it out, be sure to also check out our Twitch page. We're on a, a mega partner push at the moment. If you guys want to know what that is, uh... You can ask me on Twitch. I'll be live a few hours after this. So feel free to come join us over there. It's a, it's a heck of a time. We play in a different world completely. And it's uh, it's really, really good. So trust me. Join one stream. We'll love to see you guys around there. Uh, but for today, that will be us. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoy this next little bit. Hopefully that comes out good. I don't know how it's going to be. But it's going to be great. And uh, we've got some good stuff coming up. So thank you very much for joining me, guys. And I will see you very soon.